What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about eFootball's new meta. Although this is not necessarily new. A lot of people have been using this way back even in eFootball 22 and 23. I used a variation of this, a 5-3-2 uh, or a 5-2-3 with two out wide players a long time ago, but it's kind of gotten back into prominence. A lot of people are asking about it. A lot of people are using it online. You are going to come up against it if you are going on a rank run. Now, as I said, meta is all about doing the most effective tactics and most effective things that work in the game. And this is kind of self-explanatory, right? But there is a couple of key things to go over with this, especially if you're trying this out for the first time, okay? So firstly, we're just going to set our team up in a basic 5-3-2 or a 5-2-1-2. You can alter this in a couple of different ways, right? If you want to, it depends what players you have. But the main thing with this formation and this setup for the meta is going to be decided by your right back and your left back. Now, usually a good general rule of thumb as to what works in eFootball, no matter what way you set up your team, it doesn't matter if you set up three at the back, four at the back, five at the back. Always, the AI will take control of about three players, right? Sometimes four but always three, okay? So that means your DMF, when you're not controlling any other player, and if you're controlling your center forward and running back manually, the AI is going to position three of your other players. It sometimes can be more, but it's never usually less, right? And that's why the game is so heavily for AI. If you are playing a back five or a back three, you're always going to be defending with four players, no matter what. If you're playing a back three, you're always going to have your Patrick Vieira slotting in or your DMF sitting. So with this in mind, our main objective with this is to defend very deep and very aggressive and just build an absolute wall, which is why we have the five at the back here. And then also to use our sub tactic and to actually attack when we have the ball. So this requires a lot of focus and it requires you constantly, you know, being, I suppose, tuned in to when you're going to be able to build an attack, when to put your sub tactic on, when to put your sub tactic off. Essentially, you're going to be attacking with one formation and defending with a second formation. And this applies also also, also to the individual instructions. So for this, it's very simple. You have your defensive on your defensive player, Patrick Vieira. You're going to attack with Scholes, Platini, Hollett, and Mbappe. But also, you're not going to ever really be attacking this kind of flat. This is when you have the ball lost, or if you're, you know, if you're leading the game, you just want to tie it out. You're going to have a lot of variety in how you attack this, and of course, your counter target on Hollett, right? Now, the player builds are not so important. I'm going to show you an, a follow-up video of this you want to see clips and you want to see actually why it works so well but I mean it's pretty easy I mean we're using Didier Deschamps here when you're attacking you're going to be spread out here even though you don't play any wide players you're going to have a lot of options just from the AI when you're defending you're going to be super deep this meta has been in the game and this style of long ball counter has been in the game for pretty much two years now and it's not going to change I don't think too much especially with the way people are going to be set up right but again this is all about your sub tactic here is that when you have the ball um, and you're going on an attack, you're essentially going to be attacking with one, two, three, four, five, six players and defending with four. And when you don't have the ball, you're going to be defending with six and attacking with four. So um, it's very self-explanatory. There's no point going into too much detail about it. As I said, this has gotten back into prominence now, obviously, with the world champion playing with it. Um, but I do feel like at this stage, right, that the sub tactic in this game is definitely slept on by people that don't really activate it that often. Usually when I'm setting up a team, my team is more geared towards my sub tactic if I'm playing competitive or if I'm playing rank push than my actual starting team. Because if you look at this and you come up against me using this, right, and you're saying, right, this guy's five at the back, he's going to build a wall, it's going to be very congested in the middle of the box. But it, in reality, that's kind of, you know, bringing you into a false sense of security that you're going to have a lot of possession and stuff because you'll see swarm and swarm and swarm of attack after attack after attack with Carlos and Turam. Now, especially you will say as well, is Turam good enough for this position? Well, that depends on how you train him. He's still defensive enough for that back four or back five and let Carlos do the damage down the left flank. If that's not working, you can switch it out and you can take Turam out for a more attacking option. Or, of course, you could also um, bring in somebody that can cross the ball like Ben White. If he's got a showtime skill, an attacking fullback with an attacking fullback, and that's obviously going to be your sub tactic there. So I usually, with this, I would usually have one stopper in Patrick Vieira, two ball controllers in Platini and Scholes, and then a big and a small Hullet and Mbappe up front, or whichever pickles your fancy, lads, or tickles your fancy. Um, Maldini, Saliba, Beckenbauer, the players and the personnel are not as important as the setup, right? So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, man. It's a very, very simplified way of playing and setting up your team. 
because the AI positioning at the moment is incredible. Even for average defenders, the AI will cover pretty much 80 to 5, 80 to 85% of the chance creation that your opponent is going to carve out. Your AI will naturally and organically just slot into position to give you a chance at intercepting the ball, right? Now, you can still get cooked, okay? We played a guy the other day on stream, and uh, I'll get a few clips out of that. And I think, I, I think we drew two all or something like that, and he was using this meta-style setup. But what do you guys think of this, man? It's As I said, it's very, very simplified. It's very, very easy. You've got your five at the back, which is the wall. And then when you're attacking with the sub-tactic, you've got your own individual instructions on that. And the sub-tactic has its own individual instructions as well, where you're going to be going more attacking with your attacking players, Carlos, Skolzi, and then also the counter-target on Hullet to stay up. But it's very, very simple to use, you know. Now, you can have a couple of alterations to this, depending on the players that you have. For example, you could put Mbappe over here, you could put Hullet through the middle, and you could bring on a left winger there, and you could go, you know, three flat in the middle like that. I've seen a lot of people do that as well, which you go, like, flat in the middle like that, and obviously you would take off Ben White, and you would take off Roberto Carlos, so it would look something a little like this. Now, the question is whether or not people would actually, you know, cop on to the fact that you're starting Bale left back or you bring on Bale, that's obviously where that comes into, but it is essentially still the same thing. Um, that's what it would look like naturally, but that's what it would look like when you have your players on. So that's also an option that you could do as well. But let me know what you guys think, man. Obviously with the meta, I think at this stage now, you know, the game is 11 months old. I think the game, you know, you can have a lot of fun with this game with weird and wacky formations. Possession is really good. Out wide is really fun. Um... I hope that they double down on this, but still, I mean, this is where the game is at at the moment. Let me know if you guys enjoy playing meta, if you want to see more videos like this with gameplay and showing you how it looks on the pitch. But this is just a setup build of this video, and uh, yeah, that is it for me. I will talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe. We're on the road to 50k. Hope you guys are here for the journey. I'll talk to you then. Peace. And let me know if you play like this or if you're kind of testing out different formations.